explained previously that any public measure that satisfies the four criteria which are defined in Article 107, Paragraph 1 of the Treaty of the European Union will be uh, considered to be state aid. What I would like to explain now is what in practice means state aid. What kind of form state aid may take? Well, it can take many different forms. The most uh, typical form is that of a subsidy or a grant. A public authority gives to an enterprise 1 million euro, 2 million euro, 3 million euro. That is a grant, a form of a gift, which is given to the enterprise to do something it would not otherwise do. As for example, to hire more people or to invest in a backward region or to do more research or to do more training. So a grant is state aid. But there are many other forms of aid. Sometimes public authorities give soft loans, like for example, a loan at zero rate of interest or at very low rate of interest with no collateral, with uh, a long uh, period where no installments have to be repaid, or um, a loan that is given to uh, an enterprise with no credit history and perhaps no ability to secure the loan against an asset. That would also be a form of state aid. Another typical kind of aid is tax exemption or reduction of tax rates or other form of tax holiday. All these things are advantages and as long as they involve some kind of transfer of state resources or public resources, then they will be classified as state aid. We also have other forms of aid, like sale of public land at uh, prices which are below market level, or the sale of electricity or gas by companies which are owned by the state at prices below market level. This kind of arrangements also contain transfer of resources which benefit the recipient enterprises. In addition, we may have the granting or of free guarantees by the state so that an enterprise may undertake a very large investment and with the benefit of these guarantees can obtain a cheaper loan from a bank. Or we have other kinds of benefits such as, for example, secondment uh, at the zero uh, salary of uh, public officials to enterprises. In other words, anything that a public authorities puts at the disposal of an enterprise where there is no fee paid by the beneficiary enterprise or the fee which is paid is much below market rate then there is an advantage for the enterprise, then the public authority forgoes resources it would otherwise have obtained, and then we have state aid. You can find more information on what Lexion can provide to you on the website, lexion.eu.